Hey, how's it going? I'm Billy. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. It's been a long time since I posted anything. It's been a long time since I recorded anything. I think I might even have a couple videos uploaded that I never actually published. Um, I'm going to check on that tonight, but it's, uh, what is it? Thursday the 19th. I believe that day is correct. Um, so I am going to be shaving with my Carve Overlander and a fresh Bic blade um, and a new brush. This is a horsehair brush. I'm not sure if that's pronounced Samogue or Samoge or something like that. I believe it's Portuguese. Um, it's called the Pharos C3. Um, it's a wood handle. I like this brush a lot. I've used it about 10 times now. I like it a lot. I haven't shaved in like five days. Um, it's Thursday afternoon. Last time I shaved was Saturday morning, so it's been quite a while. Yeah, <laughs> um, I really need a shave. And I'm going to be using Tallow and Steel Echoes of Rain. This stuff, um, it smells amazing. Uh, it smells a lot like um, if you had like an ornamental garden in your, in your, in your yard, let's say, with like lots of perennials and stuff and then it rained and it stopped raining and everything was damp and you go outside that's what that smells like um i've used that a couple times as well um okay so i've already got it in my bowl the brush is already it's soaked for i don't know a good five minutes in warm water i'm gonna start now my understanding with horsehair brushes is that you should not go circularly because it will tangle the bristles. So I'm just doing side to side, up and down, you know, what have you. Um, now, um, this towel and steel soap will hold a bit of water. Um, and But what I'm dipping my brush into right now is the, it's the, um, water I used to bloom the soap before this, right? And um, I didn't have, this is after work, so I didn't have a chance to take a shower. I just got home a bit, a while ago, took the dogs for a walk. Um, and uh, all I did really is brush my face pretty well, brush my face, wash my face pretty well, and put uh, Purasso white pre-shave on. Okay, I think I'm pretty much out of this um, bloom water, so I'm going to go ahead and dip in my rinse water. So this is starting to make a nice lather. At some point, when I get just the right um, amount of water in there, it will start to basically almost, like the lather will almost like seem to double in volume as it's doing now. I don't know if you, how well you can see that, but it's quite a lot. So I'm going to push it all back down. Uh, not quite. I'll push it all back down and keep going. So it's been a very busy couple of weeks. I don't remember exactly when is the last time I recorded a video. It could be like 10 days or more. Um, so anyway, it's been very, very busy. Um, I'm feeling much better, getting a lot more stuff done, but I'm still basically a lot of what I'm doing, besides trying not to fall behind, you know, where I should be right now, but also is basically recovery, right? All the stuff that should have been done a long time ago, and that has a lot of stuff involved with that. Um, anyway, that looks good enough to me. I'm going to quickly wet my face and get my lather on. I don't know that I've, well, I certainly haven't used this soap on or this razor, well, actually, you know what? I'm not sure. 
I've really shaved with a um, any of the stuff for this much growth. So this will be interesting. It'll be a good test because usually when you see me in a video, it's been at most two, maybe three days since I last shaved, right? Um, so this is very unusual and probably, probably a, a good test. All right, so Carp Overlander, love this razor. Let's get going, see how it does. This might be one of those situations where shorter strokes are called for. I know a lot of times on my face, I tend to use full length top to bottom, but going with shorter, shorter strokes just seems to do a better job of clearing stuff out of the way. I'm trying not to dig in to remind myself not to use too much pressure because really with this amount of growth I'm feeling the urge to press in I really don't want to <laughs> Yeah, so I hope you all have been doing well. Um, I really, you know what? I really haven't thought about shaving in quite a while. I haven't been on, I think I went on Facebook. Maybe once. I haven't really talked to anybody about shaving. And I'm sorry about that. I, I got this idea in my head that this channel and just my kind of shaving obsession in general could have been contributing to my or keeping me in the depression longer than it needed to. Because in a way, I, I do still kind of feel a kind of, the channel and the shaving, you know what, it made me feel better about a lot of things. And I started to think that maybe it was my replacement. for things that would be, in general, a bit more productive in my life. Like, I don't take that the wrong way. But I was definitely spending time making shaving videos, so, well, making, editing, what have you, instead of doing the stuff that was, uh, it was all just piling up. <laughs> it was all just piling up stuff I should have been doing. And if, if I had been, you know, been able to manage my life during that period of time, I could have done both, but I didn't. I only did the shaving videos and the channel. So that's kind of the thing I was thinking about talking about today was 
It's like. What are, like, at least for me, there are things, generally speaking, that I'll, mm, that often there are things I'm avoiding and the things I'm using to substitute <laughs> for the things I'm avoiding. And what I've kind of figured out is that I need to be aware of, now that I'm full, I seem to be fully aware of that pattern. And to be honest, I probably was aware of it. I probably have been aware of it my whole life, but it's taken on a new significance for me. All right. As I work to get myself out of the depression, anxiety, what have you. Um, is to really try to be aware of what I'm avoiding and not substituting other things, but instead meeting those things, the things I'm avoiding, meeting those head on, right? Instead of, instead of running away from them. To something else. So this shave is going really nice. It feels good, by the way. Um, the yeah, the first pass was a little. Definitely more difficult than usual, but this is a kind of feels about like where I usually am at this point on a second pass. Um, I'm gonna try not to buff too much because that I don't need that irritation on my neck. One nice thing is that over the past several days with not shaving, I don't have that irritation. that I often get. All right. So this is feeling pretty much like a normal second pass for me. Anyway. Things at work, things in life generally have been going pretty good. The only things I'm worried about now are is the well, the only stuff I the only stuff I'm really worried about now is the the fallout from all the stuff that I didn't get done over the past several months. Not all that fallout has settled yet. I don't know how it's all gonna settle. It's, um, could be interesting. I don't mean inter interesting in a good way or a happy way. All right, not bad. It's feeling pretty good for a second pass. This scent is amazing. And I really do love the Talwin Studio soap base. Makes a nice leather. I probably could have made more. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to mine the brush. <laughs> um, I just spread it on my hand for my third pass.
Yeah. So one thing I've been, I have been spending a little bit of time watching some stuff on YouTube, but I, like I said, I've been avoiding shaving stuff because I don't want to get sucked back into the obsession I was in. I want it to become not an obsession, but more like just like a normal hobby, which for me is usually a pretty difficult thing to do in my life because I usually don't just have regular hobbies, right? Um, so I've been watching other stuff and say what you want about, I think I've said this exact same thing before. Some of those videos are, uh, feature Jordan Peterson, which is, who is not popular with a lot of people, but I will say this, his psychological stuff is really, really helpful. If you want to understand yourself, if you want to understand how you can deal with issues in your life and you can manage not to be pissed off by his slightly more political things, you know, and obviously that depends on your political orientation, right? Um, I'm pretty much Right. I'm pretty much a centrist. There's some stuff I'm more liberal on. There's some stuff I'm more conservative on. Um, I'd say overall, in terms of politics, right? I don't know. On average, on average, knowing, you know, the little bit that I know, I'd guess that I'm a little bit to the left of like somebody like Jordan Peterson, right? A little bit. Jordan Peterson would not have been considered a conservative. Thirty years ago, I don't think. Um, But anyway, his psychological stuff is helpful. If you want to try to kind of like figure out where you are in life and why that might be and what you can do about it. And in one of his videos, he, well, actually it probably shows up in several videos because there's so much stuff where he's, for different audiences, he's said a lot of the same things, right? I mean, he updates stuff every now and then. His thinking changes a bit. But in general, one of the big ideas for me has been Is that if you can identify what it is that you are avoiding, like really what it is you're avoiding, and just, it would be good to figure out why you're avoiding it, but one of the best things you can do is stop avoiding it, right? Baby steps, take baby steps, start exposing yourself to it. Like, turns out for me, one of the kinds of things, it's going to sound stupid, but one of the, One of the kinds of things I tend to avoid or procrastinate for extreme, for unreasonably long periods of time sometimes, is anything that has to do with paperwork and forms. Anything. 
And if you can think about the kinds of things that are, you know, in, in, in life as an adult that involve paperwork and forms, I'm sure you can think of a lot of them. You might have some ideas about where my problems are. Some. And it's not like I've been able to just like make amazing progress on this stuff like easily. Yesterday, I finally did some stuff I've been avoiding for a year. It was difficult, man. It was really difficult. I almost failed. I almost couldn't do it. Um, you know, and a lot of people will just say, you know, oh, you know, all you gotta do is just force yourself to look at it like it's not one big thing, right? Which is good. Break it down into little bits and then let's just do it. Well, just do it never works for me. It never has. It's way too easy to avoid. You know what? I'm not going to try to get a BBS. Um, just do it has never been a thing that has worked for me ever. And it didn't work yesterday. So I basically kind of had to tell myself. I kind of had a revelation. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I've used that word before. I think I've used the word epiphany on the channel before. But anyway, what I basically had to tell... Whoa. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so maybe I overdid it a bit. I mean, for the most part, the shave felt pretty smooth. Um, but yeah, like I said, you saw how much growth I had, and it has been several days, and I didn't have a shower. This is all a bit stingy, but it's bearable. Anyway, I mean, this is, so, okay, so back to the situation at hand. I basically had to sit there and tell myself, that thing you're avoiding, that you're afraid of, that is not you. That is just a part of your brain. And your brain is just a part of your body. You are, and you are not your body. You are something more than that. You are way more than the sum of your parts. That is not, and that is not the boss of you. You are the boss of it. So act like it. Step back. So I actually imagined myself kind of leaving my body. <laughs> I actually had to do this. I imagined myself leaving my body and watching myself and making it move, get the form, pick it up, hold it in your hand, get the pen, set it down, fill out the first box, which is just your name, right? Fill out the next box, which is your date of birth, you know, um, or whatever it was. And I had to do each box like that for a while until I realized at some point, halfway through the form, I wasn't have to, having to do it anymore. I, I had finally reached that point where, okay, it was not so difficult. Um, and what Jordan Peterson would say about that is, is that after that exposure, it's not that you lose really lose your, 
probably not that you actually lose your fear or whatever it is, but that you become braver, more courageous in the face of whatever it is that scares you. Like, I'm still scared of forms. Always have been. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a combination of perfectionism with OCD or what. Um, it takes me three or four times longer than anybody else to do any kind of form. It has to be perfect. I Anyway, um, I was able to do it. Something I'd been avoiding for a year. I was able to do it. And the only way I was able to do it was to convince myself that I could operate my body up a remote control. <laughs> but it worked. It worked. And along the way, I realized I'm way more than that physical body. Maybe religious people will already recognize this or see it right away. Like I tried to explain it to somebody at work and when I put it in religious terms, I said, you know what, that's just the, the, that's just, that's just the flesh, right? Brain is even just part of that. The thing that should be in charge is soul, right? Anyway, you can put that in whatever terms you like. I'm not very religious. I, I grew up a little bit religious, but well, I grew up in a slightly religious household, so I know the Christian terminology. Um, and it doesn't bother me to use it. But anyway, yeah, that was my day yesterday, and it was partly inspired by stuff I watched from watching a few, you know, Jordan Peterson psychological videos and a little bit of reading and just thinking about my life and the kind of person I want to be. It's like, I do not... I do not want to be ruled by little fears or, or quirks, right? Yeah, I, I have them. I'm not going to be ruled by them. I'm going to, I'm going to function regardless of those. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know how long this has been. Probably pretty long. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I think that was a pretty reasonable shave. Um, I really do like this brush. Um, um, it's, re it's really good with hard soaps. Um, I don't think there was any particular advantage to using it today with something like this. But um, <laughs> oh, it, it lathers up... Um, it lathers up... Uh, well, what am I trying to say? Arco. It lathers up Arco so much better than my other brushes. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked it, like, share, subscribe. You know, and um, yeah, I, I really do appreciate you watching. Uh, a couple people have tried to reach out to me. I've not been good about keeping in touch with anybody, really. But um, yeah, thanks a lot. See you.